All right, I'm in South America right now. Actually, Central America. Let me uh, give you a tour outside. All right, I'll give you a better shot later because it's really hot and my lens is gonna fog. So I'll get like a drone and it'll look really nice. I want to take a look at what's happening with cryptocurrency here. And what I mean by that is a lot of the countries down in this region are using cryptocurrency as currency. I know, how shocking is that? A great example is Venezuela, where their currency is worth nothing. Now, I wanted to go to Venezuela, but impossible to get in because of COVID. So I've been looking around South and Central America for other countries that are using cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, and others in really creative ways. One of the places I was looking at is this, which is Balboa Boutiques, which is in Panama. And apparently it's a mall where all the mall accepts Bitcoin. Because of the pandemic, a lot of the stores have closed according to uh, what I'm reading in the Google reviews, but it is open. There are locations that are open right now. So we're gonna go check it out. Panama got hit really hard by COVID. I mean, most countries have been, but the entire country has been closed and Panama is just reopening. That's why I was able to get down here. There's a lot of fallout. Most of the restaurants are closed. A lot of the bars are closed. There's a curfew at night. So um, I don't know how that's gonna affect things. It looks like the last post from the Balboa Boutiques was April 11th in 2020. So I have no idea what's gonna happen when we go down there. In America, like the United States, people are using crypto because they wanna get rich, right? They wanna make money, they wanna buy and then sell. I'm actually not very interested in that. I don't care about trading. I don't care about any of that stuff. I like the idea that we can have a currency that kind of gives you a new freedom. And that's definitely what cryptocurrency does. Now down here, where you have hyperinflation countries, where you have huge socialist governments, cryptocurrency really gives you an escape that you're just not gonna get from depending on your local currency. And with all the printing that's been going on in America, the money going out to people, the value drops. So it's something that we should be worried about in America, even if you're still able to buy bread with your American dollar. Anyway, we're gonna go now check out this little mall and see what's going on there. See if there's any restaurants that are still open there. And if not, we're gonna mourn, but I think we'll find a few. All right, here we are. This is the Balboa Boutiques Panama Strip Mall. And what they're known for is accepting Bitcoin and cryptocurrency in general. So, you know, we're on the outside. It looks like a lot of stores here are open, surprisingly. There's a Pinkberry right here. There's a Otoro ramen sushi place here. They're both open. Now, I don't know how many of these places will accept Bitcoin or cryptocurrency. That'll be one of the things that we uh, figure out. Although there are a lot of places here that are closed. Though I don't know if it's just because it's Sunday. There's a spa and a club and a bunch of places here. So we'll walk around and get some food. I know for a fact that at least one of the places here is open. So we're gonna be on the lookout for the uh, Bitcoin sticker. It's pretty crazy right now to be in uh, Panama, Central America, near South America, and have this kind of mall that accepts crypto. How cool is that? You never expect something like this anywhere in the world. Uh, and I think it happened because one guy who's sort of a real entrepreneurial man who really believed in crypto came here and opened up a Bitcoin Panama kind of like mini embassy. I guess that's the best way to put it. Well, unfortunately he passed away from COVID. So the embassy uh, closed. Look at this. <laughs> It's the perfect man. Only half the man. Only the bottom part of the man. Yeah, that's all you need. It's interesting to see everyone in Panama wearing masks, even outside. Because in America right now, with Delta going crazy, uh, people aren't wearing masks at all. At least not uh, outside. Some places inside, but most not inside either. Jojo, huh? look up. <laughs> so we've been walking around a little bit maybe about five, 10 minutes. And so far, I haven't found anything. I haven't found any business that's accepting uh, Bitcoin here. We'll see, is it too good to be true? Is there not any place that's open that takes crypto? There are some places here that are open, like we saw a cafe, a bicycle store. There's a nice little market here, but I don't know if any of them actually accept crypto. Okay. Oh, it's not open. Oh. <laughs> Well, we didn't find Bitcoin, but we did find this. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Is this another one of your failed video? <laughs> yeah, it looks like this is a failed video of mine. I'm not seeing any kind of crypto place or restaurant or anything. I think uh, the pandemic just hit too hard. It took out everything. The only thing I've seen open is a salon, 
Pinkberry, a coffee shop, and a ramen place. It's really sad to see how much uh, the pandemic has hurt these businesses where nothing is really left anymore. Everything's been uh, taken down. You can see back here, some giant rooftop bar that I'm sure was beautiful. You have a view of the water over here, and unfortunately, just nothing is left. Almendra. Almendra. Almendra means almond. So if you want almond milk, you say leches almendra. We're learning a little bit of Spanish on this trip. <laughs> a tiny very, amount. Very important to get almond milk. Yeah. Cafe for coffee, which is easy. So yeah, this is the crypto mall. And I think, sadly to say, it's too good to be true. There's no more Bitcoin here at the Bitcoin strip mall in Panama. That's a big letdown. There definitely is a crypto restaurant that we're going to be going to on Tuesday. It's like a bar and bistro. And there's also a Bitcoin meetup. So we'll be going to all of those things. But as far as the Bitcoin mall goes in 2021, it looks like the party's over. Well, bad news. This is called Brun. It's one of the places here in Panama that used to accept Bitcoin cash and Bitcoin. And it looks like they've completely closed. So they were one of the places here that did apparently a few years ago before the pandemic hit, this entire mall was filled with locations that all accepted all kinds of cryptocurrencies, including Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. But unfortunately, everything has been shut down once the pandemic hit, tourism came to an end. Panama is a place that depends on shipping and people stopping here for vacation. The thing about Panama is it's the hub of Central and South America. If you wanna to go to Nicaragua, if you wanna go pretty much anywhere, you need to stop in Panama first. The sad part for me is one of the reasons I wanted to come to Panama was specifically for this mall, an entire shopping center where you could buy stuff with Bitcoin Cash. And unfortunately, it's just totally closed here. So um, we're gonna look around. There's still other cool stuff to do in Panama. As far as Bitcoin, I'm gonna have to go somewhere else. It's just sad that crypto has really been crippled here, unfortunately. I'm standing outside of the crypto mall here in Panama and I'm so disheartened that uh, no, there's, there's just no, there's no crypto in there. There's no anything. Everything is dead. There's a few restaurants. There's like an Indian place uh, and a little fruit bowl place. But overall, it's empty. It's dead. Nothing to do there. Nothing to buy there. Really disappointed. I was hoping that we'd get some great uh, footage, some great shopping, some great crypto. But in Panama, it looks like crypto is uh, really hurting, which makes sense based on everything I've said so far. So anyway, we're going to go. It's going to thunder. Here, you can look at the sky, super dark. Hopefully get some lunch and we'll continue our travels.